We're now joined by Randy Glossman, who is the district commander over District 3. Welcome, Randy. Thank you. So, Randy, please tell us what areas comprise District 3. Sure. So, District 3 is the south side of town from University to St. John's uh, County and Nocatee from Intercoastal Waterway to uh, about University Boulevard, including Beach Boulevard, eastbound. So you have kind of an interesting personal history with District 3. So tell us where you grew up. So I actually grew up in the old Zone 3 before realignment. And so I've really been there my, my entire career. That's super cool. So you yes. kind of, is it coming home? It, it is. It is. Where did you um, attend school when you were, you were growing up and, and then into college? So I attended Wolfson and um, went to Florida State for a year. Um, realized that leaving was not smart if I wanted to graduate in a timely manner, not still be there. Uh, so I came back, uh, got my AA at Florida, what is I guess now State College of Jacksonville, it wasn't back then. Um, wasn't in the plans to do that, but I got my AA and then got into UNF, um, received my bachelor's degree in history. And then um, right after that, joined the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office in 1994. And uh, a few years later, I actually went back and got my master's degree at Indiana State University. In what? In criminology. And education sounds like it was very important to your family. Very. Um, both of my parents are educators. Um, my dad has his PhD in uh, secondary education, and my mom also was a teacher prior to my brother and I being born. So you kind of took a left turn to, to what your family had done in the past. Very much so, yes. Did you know early that you wanted to go into law enforcement? Yes, yes. From a very young age, there is a actual photo um, I don't know if many of our viewing audience know this, but the Daytona Beach used to have a boardwalk with a bunch of rides on it, and we have a photo in our family of, of me as a three or four year old on a, on a ride that in the car it said police car. And, uh, and so I, I knew very young that this was the career I wanted. I thought I wanted to go federal, but I did some research in high school and, and learned that uh, I wasn't going to get a Juris Doctorate, wasn't interested in that, nor did I want to get an accounting degree. So the FBI was not for me, and mm -hmm. I liked the, I liked the, the chase, uh, so to speak, and the lights and siren, and so here I am. So in addition to sort of having a rewarding professional degree at um, JSO, it sounds like you had a rewarding personal experience at JSO and that you met your wife at JSO. I did. So tell us about that. I did. She uh, she did 27 years here as a as a PICO. Uh, uh, she was a dispatcher. Um, they they call them PICOs now. They're police emergency communication officers. But she retired 11 years ago, and uh, she sent me on a garbage call on the old Fuller Warren Bridge, and we started started talking on the on the computer way back then. And we've been That's wild. <laughs> yeah. We've been together, uh, we'll be 28 years this year. That's amazing. So, yes. So she sent you in a call, yes. and then you kind of never stopped talking. Pretty <laughs> much, yes, pretty much. That's so great. It's kind of, kind of in, in our DNA. That, so, yes, she's a, she's a communicator as a dispatcher, and uh, kind of segues probably into your next question. Yeah, so what was your favorite part? So, yeah, um, so 30 years with this agency, uh, I was honored enough about 24 and a half years ago uh, to join the crisis negotiation team. And by far the most rewarding thing I have done within this agency is be a part of that unit. Uh, worked my way up from a baby negotiator to lead the unit for five years before being appointed to Sheriff Waters staff uh, about a year and a half ago. And uh, that afforded me the opportunity to travel the nation and, and teach negotiations, which is communicating. Yeah. And uh, and it is it has led me to the top of very tall buildings and very tall bridges, which was not the highlight of my career. It wouldn't Learn be for me either. But yes. yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but it it gave me an opportunity to help people in crisis, and and that's what what we 
we as law enforcement professionals want to do and, and we sign up to do is help. So I, I hope I've done that at least once or twice in my career. So I'm sure you have. Yeah. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate your time. Thank you.